Hey, good morning. Don here, the German printing nerd. Today I have the camera, my web camera, a little way back so that you can see this. This is the first package that I have received from any of my viewers. And I can't wait to open it. This guy so amazing. I stop to think about what he told me is inside this package. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. A roll of filament. Cool. Silver. Exactly what I need for my Johnny Five project. One point seven five millimeter, I hope. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yes, 1.75 millimeter. Oh man, oh, that's just, that's so good. And then, ah, a cleaning filament. What do we have here from Engine? A test. Processing temperature 220 to 240. That must be a PEG. Color that. Uh, engine all around material suitable for most any three day. This is a compliment. Hmm. Well, I might have to send him a message and ask him if he can tell me what that is. Oh, man. Wow. This is a real wood filament. Oh, man. So happy that he sent this. I will definitely test this with my micro Swiss hot air to see if this will work. This is a good scraper. <laughs> a lot better than the one that I have. Yes. This looks like a little bit of this blue from Joel's filament, but I'm not sure. I have to take a closer look. Thanks for your order, 3D PIPU. Oh, wow. And here, this is a semiflex. Semiflex? Now it's supposed to be a semiflex. But it looks like a wet noodle. Hmm. Why how? I hope you can work on it. Because I asked in my video, someone could send me some, just to make a test on one of the tracks from the Johnny Five to see if that will work. Oh. And this, this is something really special. This is, let me just take a look at the message which he sent to me. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, come. 
a little bit faster. And I couldn't believe what all he wrote in the message. That was, I thought he was making a joke to me. Um, Ultra Marine Blue PLA from ColorFab. The Lila Flex Lake in Klein. Ah, okay. Lila Flex is some extra that he had laying around. So that I can test it. Uh, small bag of silico silica gel, which is. Perfect to make a enclosure for filament for storage, or if you have some filament that you have to dry overnight, you know. But this hot end here, where did he wrap that? Ah, the volcano doozy. Ah, volcano nozzle is this. Okay, this will be something very interesting. Might have to do a build, not sure. Change more the, com the complete hot end, I'm not, not really sure, but there are different size nozzles inside. Something interesting to test. Uh, let me just say, God bless you, Alex. Thank you so much. This will be wow, yeah. wow. This will be interesting, very interesting to test. This engine, what is the what is the engine? Ah, this is a a gray metallic. A gray metallic from engine. Cool. Gray metallic. Have to test this on something small first. And then, uh, and then, and then see how it comes out. But that will be wow. wow. This is so cool. This is so cool. This will come to work very soon. Yeah. Right now, wait a minute. Let me put this to the side. Oh man. Been working on the Johnny Five. Started printing yesterday. Uh, in, in a former video, I said, "Yeah, five thousand percent. Five thousand percent. Hmm. To get this one to one, I think you will have to go to ten thousand percent. I'm not sure." But I'm going to print this complete at 5,000% everything. And what I will have is a miniature version of Johnny Five. This is the front part of his head. Uh, yeah, of his head. Uh, just so that you can see, this was the small model, model that I made last week. Oh one week printing time for this. Uh, this was included in the files where all these parts are. Uh, yeah, and I thought, okay, all the parts are so small, you know, you know, all the STL files, and itsy bitsy tiny on, on, on the plate. 
when you open them up in Curla, for example, and click on one part, and then you go to scale, and you say 5,000%. Then you have something on your build plate. But uh, I must say, uh, yeah. Even Cura, this thing looked a lot bigger. <laughs> but I had to use support. Printed, printing it on my PL poly plate. Ha! The PL poly plate is working fine. I think I've printed over 500 meters. No, not too much. 400. Three to 400, let's say. And several different parts, several different parts. And everything. And the plate is. Perfect. I'm very amazed. Uh, when I started this yesterday afternoon, it took 13 hours. <laughs> it was finished around 2 o'clock this morning. I made a quick change. Then I started the back head, also the back part that will be. Uh, screwed onto this or glued, I'm not sure. You know, that has a mounting system. I think you can put a screw in it and screw it together, which would be interesting because what I'm also thinking about is for his mouth, thinking about uh, drilling holes and, put, and putting LEDs inside. But I'm not sure. I have to take a look and see if I can find some kind of sound generator or something. You know, the, the sound generator that Johnny Five has in these, uh, in these uh, small models that you can buy from. Who knows how much over there in America, here in Germany, I can't find one. Uh, he has a so sound mo model, uh, module in his head or in his body or something. And when you turn him on, he starts talking saying phrases from the films, you know? If I could get this electronic part, that would be so cool. I would I would implement it in this Johnny Five that I'm printing right now. But if I compare this head to this model, yeah, then you can imagine how big this is going to be, which will also be cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Eh, anyway, time to get back to work. Printing, setting up the next STL files to print. Alex, a really big thanks to you, man. You are an angel. God bless you for sending this. Until the next time. Happy printing and take care.